Economics as a whole covers a lot of ground. So to better understand it, we break it into two parts, macroeconomics and microeconomics. Let's explain what each part entails, starting with microeconomics. Microeconomics focuses on the actions of individual agents within the economy, like households, workers, and businesses. Economists looking at microeconomic issues ask themselves these types of questions. What determines how households and individuals spend their budgets? What combination of goods and services will best fit their needs and wants, given the budget they have to spend? How do people decide whether to work, and if so, whether to work full-time or part-time? How do people decide how much to save for the future? or whether they should borrow or spend their current means. Furthermore, economists studying microeconomic issues ask these questions about businesses. What determines the products and how many of each a firm will produce and sell? What determines what prices a firm will charge? What determines how a firm will produce its products? What determines how many workers it will hire? How will a firm finance its business? When will a firm decide to expand, downsize, or even close? Economists looking at macroeconomic issues ask themselves these types of questions. What determines the level of economic activity in a society? In other words, what determines how many goods and services a nation actually produces? What determines how many jobs are available in the economy? What determines a nation's standard of living? What causes the economy to speed up or slow down? What causes firms to hire more workers or to lay workers off? Finally, what causes the economy to grow over the long term? Eco macroeconomic theory allows for two types of governmental policies that influence the economy of a nation or state. These policies are monetary and fiscal. Monetary policy deals with a country's money supply, banking system, and interest rates. Fiscal policy deals with the collection and spending of tax money by the government. The two main parts of economics, micro and macro, provide a starting point to dive into even more detailed and timely issues regarding economics as a discipline.